Well, <clears throat> we're going to look at algebra, page um, 1097 again. This time we're looking at pages 25 and 26. It's called simplifying polynomials. It makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Simplifying and polynomials. Wow, that sounds complex. What we're doing is we're looking for like terms, which is what the previous few pages were about. And of course, that they make pretty easy um, on the preceding page, <clears throat> page 24. All of those were like terms. If you, got, if you made a mistake, you probably got mixed up with your positive and negative signs. And uh, it doesn't hurt to review our rules, okay? So same with me here. If we're adding and the signs are the same, we add and keep the common sign. If we're adding and the signs are different, then we sub subtract the smaller from the larger and keep the sign from the larger. And then if we're doing subtraction, we always change the subtraction to addition and change the second number or second term to its opposite. If you'll follow those rules, just memorize them, repeat them, and apply them as you're doing page 24, I think you'll get those right. So, Because all of those are like terms, so that's not too bad. What I want to look at here are some problems where we first have to figure out which ones are like terms and then combine them. I'm going to put this paste down. <clears throat> what I like to have my students do is um, look at this whole problem and say, all right, which ones are like terms? And then we're going to put a square. Let's say, let's, let's, so here's an x squared term. So I'm going to put a square around it. Are there any others that say x squared? Nope, none others, all right? This one says xy, so I'm gonna put a circle around that one. Notice that I'm keeping the sign with that. It'll become important in a minute. This is not a like term. This one is a like term with this, okay? So they both have the same variables, x and y, and they both have the same exponents, one and one. Would it matter if this said 4yx instead of 4xy? No, actually it wouldn't. It would be, it'd still be a, a like term because like terms are do they have the same letters, the same variables, and are they raised to the same exponent? So the order doesn't matter because when we're multiplying, just like if I did 3 times 5, I would get 15, right? And if I did 5 times 3, I would still get 15. So the order doesn't matter. x times y is the same as y times x. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> put a circle around this one <clears throat> so that I can visually see that these two are like terms. And then eh, we'll underline these, okay? Because these are like terms. They're both y's and they're both to the second power, okay? So... We can do them in any order. Let's start with um, let's start with this. What's positive two <clears throat> plus positive four? So that's easy, right? Six, and then I just keep the x y. Does not become x squared y squared. Those only change if I'm multiplying them. X times x is x squared. But if I'm adding, only thing that changes is the coefficient, the numerical coefficient out front. Now I'm going to take the y terms. And I'm going to put these two together. So I'm adding negative 3 plus negative 2, <coughs> excuse me, adding and keep the common sign. So negative 5, correct? Negative 5 would be the same as saying, you know, plus negative 5, or you could say minus 5y squared. Either one is the, it's the same thing, okay? So if you go to the score key and you had one and they have the other, don't mark it wrong <clears throat> if that's all it is. And then there's only one term left. This one's all by itself. So I'm going to put that one here at the end. Now again, you could go to the score key and they might start with this one and then say plus 6xy minus 5y squared. Or they might start with this one and then go to this and go to this. It doesn't matter because 2 times 7 is the same as 7 plus 2, right? We can change the order without changing the answer if we're multiplying or if we're adding. So the order that these terms are in the answer does not matter. But these exponents will be important, okay? Let's do a similar thing here with this problem. I'm just going to set this one up, <clears throat> and I want you to finish it then. So here's an a to the third. 
And I'm looking for another a to the third. Ah, here's one. I'm going to put a circle around that. Here's a b to the third. <clears throat> so we'll underline that. Underline that. Notice I'm keeping the sign with it. Okay. And then this one looks like it's all by itself. I'll put a box around that. The only reason I'm doing this in the color, number one, and I'm using these different shapes, is it helps the brain visualize it. Oh, these are like terms. Okay? So now I can combine these. Remember, if there's no number in front, the number is always one. Okay, not zero, one. So we're going to add one a to the third plus four a to the third. And then you can combine these, be careful, they're both negative, add and keep the common sign. And then this one doesn't have a like term, so we just have to tack it on as part of the answer. Okay, hopefully that will help you <clears throat> to do the rest of the problems and even finish these two on pages 25 and 26.